Hi, what's going on guys? It's Almond. Welcome back to another Loser 101 video. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the resist change that's coming with Wallaroo, which a lot of us did not really expect, even myself included. I didn't really expect them to be changing any of the stats. Now, I knew that the stats were going to be changed a little bit when it came to like the stat caps for pvp and advanced combat because of the fact that you know we're getting better gear and everything like that but since a lot of that has been like put on the back load where they're just not bringing out like new hat row boots wand the stat caps were adjusted like very much slightly so they're still going to be like roughly around what 160 stat caps were but they were just going to increase like the damage according to like the new uh gear pieces that we got which was understandable but recently that that is uh going to be changed because now resist is also getting tanked by a lot and you've already seen a couple people already upload this video regarding the stat caps but it's mostly from the pvp players i haven't seen anyone really talk about pve that's like been uploading pve consistently mainly it's just people talking about it's a really good change for pvp but you got to look at it from the PVE perspective. There's some downsides to certain aspects and we'll talk about all that stuff. So you guys will see my opinion when it comes to like advanced combat, because uh, I have my own opinion of, of this, right? So we'll talk all about that and give you guys my opinion. So if you do enjoy this type of content, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, all type of stuff. Join the Discord down below. I think we're close to getting 500 members, which is still to me wild to even say. But I appreciate all the people that have been joining and subbing and all that type of stuff. So thank you for that now let's get into it so the stack caps are being changed like instead of it being how it was before where like you would have set resist to certain schools like for example you know if i'm on a fire my stats aren't going to be capped out for every school it just varies depending on for example what i'm doing um so for example if i wanted to set against i don't know let's say i'm i'm a fire right now fire stat caps initially what they are is this so i'll put it up on screen of course but these are the stat caps currently at 160. now you can see that i have certain resist caps on for certain schools so i can't have 74 resist for balance but i can have it for storm so there's going to be certain stack caps that I can have for each individual school, but they're just making it all of round. So instead of these being an individual numbers like 70, 74, 72, etc., these all will be changed to 60. Now, to me, that is a big change. Like you just even looking at this, like I don't see how 60 is like the, the good number. It's I'm taking down like 10 percent in balance uh 14 percent in storm like all of my stats are going low in this regard even if we look at ice ice is getting changed to 80 they're tanking almost 10 percent in like all of their stuff same thing with storm storm is getting hit hard all these were 60 now these are all changing to 55 percent at its peak so at its cap you can't get higher than 55 percent same thing with myth myth's cap is going to be 72 which is more than fire but it's just going to be better to play on a myth because of the fact that <laughs> you have higher resist and it makes it better for dual school and you can just literally the damage is going to be like roughly around the same and then if we go to life life is going to have 71 across the board so you can just think about it just seeing this and now it's going to be changed to 71 and then of course death i believe is getting changed to 75 so 75 instead of all these 80s 85s it's all going down to 75 and then balance same situation instead of all these 84s and uh, 86s these will all be 73. now there is a lot of argument in the Pv pve community because it's like hey man what am i supposed to do against all this like all these bosses now because they'll be able to pierce right through me and i know that they don't want us players to set against bosses because it technically makes it easier which is true and that's not something that they want us to do which i personally don't mind it because i'm dedicating stats towards that boss right and especially like in the azteca raid right like everyone's doing certain things everyone's doing their own thing in the raid and if i'm only going to be in certain fights like i do see a reason to set against those bosses now of course if i'm not setting against those bosses well what do, what do i put on my pet like for example like people are using like proof defy but like let's say i reach the stack cast pretty easy 
So for example, like if we go to my myth, which I usually do raids on, like you guys will see in the previous videos, I've been on my myth um, for, all, for all the raids basically. And if we look at the pet that I'm using, when it comes to raids, it is, I believe, like a resist pet that has will cast on it. Now, my setup is going to be completely different. So if we put on my raid setup that I usually use and we look at this, my stats right now, I'm getting stack cap for fire and ice. Now, if we pull up the, the slides, which I'm, I don't have in the discord, but I'll eventually will be my stack cap for fire and ice is 84 and 80. That is a cap. You can't go higher than that. Now I have 83 and 83. So I'm, I'm, I'm already above the cap for ice, but in advanced combat, this will be 80. Now for fire, I'm one away. But still, and the reason why I prioritize these is because I'm setting against Yatasha. Yatasha is the North um, the raid boss that you fight, the North priest. And you get hit like a tank. Uh, <laughs> like So being on a myth and having like set res against them, I'm hitting the resist cap. I'm even putting flat res that's dedicated towards it. Of course, with the, you know, with the changes coming in uh, later down the line when Waller does come out, Flat res is like no longer a thing. Like you can still, of course, socket it on for regular combat. Like if I'm questing, whatever, sure. But in advanced combat and in raids, you flat, flat resist is disabled. So what's the next best option? You're going to be socketing on health because square sockets will now have health. And now if you look at my health right now, I'm at 9.2. And this is like almost with min max stuff. Like I'm missing 5 HP from uh, my deck, but that's about it. So like... I would be at like what 200 or 900 and uh or 9260 around there and if you look at the health cap for myth it's 10.9 now imagine if i socked it on health instead of here health is roughly around like 500 i don't know the exact amount per school but it's roughly around that area 500 400 so if you think about it look how many square sockets i get i have one and then i'll have two three from here four from here now that's like around if we if we all assume that each one was 500 think about that that's another 2k stacked up on here and that's i'll be at 11k hp but since i'm at the stack cap i'm above it i'm 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 above it so it's gonna get shrinked down of course it'll be shrinked down depending on you know like the percentages because hey i am 170 now instead of 160 so i'm losing a little bit more percentage because of that because I am scaling down. So with that being a thing, people are going to be prioritizing that. But in the fights, you're still going to be getting hit like a lot. And even when it comes to advanced combat, when it comes to advanced combat and the fights that I've done in Waldru on challenge mode, they are very interesting. <laughs> the one I can say 100% that it's doable, you don't have to worry about stack cap, is going to be uh, Crash. The crash challenge mode is very easy and it's i think it's fine if you have a team of four um of course don't try to solo it or duo it i learned it the hard way <laughs> um but with four people it's very doable very easy and um there's that but when it comes to the challenge mode for the other fights mr montgomery is a very challenging fight because it's you have to survive that fight it was doable before the dispel change but once they made it so you can't dispel the storm lord uh and you're forced to take these storm lords a lot it's pretty difficult in even as a storm like even if we look at the stat cats for storm and mr montgomery does storm damage he does 69 or you can have 69 resist against a storm on a storm now with the change you're only going to have 55 i believe mr montgomery has 60 pierce he is literally piercing through you and you're just dead on a storm uh, and the argument is like, hey, well, you can dual school into life, right? Oh, you should dual school into life because you're a storm, right? You know, life also complements storm. Just have the pins and stuff like that. You know, get pigsy, train regenerate, all this stuff. But you're still taking more damage that's allocated in that fight because you're on a storm. And I'm not just saying that, well, oh, they should buff storm or anything like that. But it's just with the resist, is this really that necessary to be tanked that hard? Because I've gotten to the point where when it comes to this challenge mode fight, I've actually had to set for that boss because that's the whole premise of the fight. You have to you have to survive seven rounds. And even after the seven rounds, you have to deal with the minion. So for that reason, I had to make a pet. 
<laughs> that is literally dedicated for that fight. I have all this resist. And on top of that, I'm using Bulwark <laughs> to try to survive that fight. If I use this pet on a storm, and of course the stat will be different because of the fact that, you know, I have that caps and everything like that. I still will get nuked in that fight. I kid you not. And what they need to do is reevaluate some of these fights. If it's not doable by a school, then that's something that's just not correct. So they should definitely look into some of these fights that are coming into challenge mode that are being new introductions and reevaluate some of them. So it's, you know, doable by other schools, because right now it is like quite difficult. And maybe it's just I'm just saying that from, you know, you know, I've only did a couple matches on test realm, whatever, but I get the premise of the fight, you know, surviving seven rounds, you have to have weaknesses, you have to do vampires, uh, you have to do wraith, deadly depths, um, all this stuff just so he can survive a storm lord is wild. Uh, and I think you're forced to have a healer in that fight too. So like you're forced to have certain stuff. Um, and most of this challenge modes that are coming in, especially with Walderdu, require a death they require a balance death mainly just because to survive um you can even argue that you need a life because you know to have pigsy but pigs is getting copies that are like limited so for example like how it is for bubbles bubbles are only allowed to have four copies in your deck see if you compare it to napta napta am i able to have six copies because you know my deck does let me have six copies of fire but yeah, i'm capped out on bubbles because you're only allowed to have four bubbles Pigsy is the same way. Pigsy will be only allowed to have a certain amount of copies allocated towards your deck. And then on top of that, you have to build a deck to the point where you can actually even get enough Arch Mastery because you got to have a, a high enough efficiency to the point where you can even pull Pigsy. And then on top of that, I have enough to even get the, the school pit. So you're forced to run like a 50 card or not like a, like a half card deck and then try to pull Pigsy so you can heal. So we'll see how that fight goes. I think a, a life is going to be needed in that fight, but on a storm, it's very close. If you do not have like a healer in that fight, I think it's just an L. Um, but I'll have to see once more. Maybe this is just early reactions, right? I mean, I don't know how the fleet fight is going to go either for the final boss of Wallaroo or technically, I guess the final boss of the arc, I guess. Um, I don't know how that's going to go in challenge mode. Of course, you regular PVE players, like I know there's some people like that that are, aren't even going to touch challenge mode, which I get it, right? Because you're just going to farm it the regular way. But challenge mode has to be something that's actually worth your wild. Um, of course, there'll be badges, I'm pretty sure, but there's not going to be a gold key that is dropped for your first badge completion. Whenever you finish uh, challenge mode for the first time you usually get a badge and i've done this a couple times at least on my other character on my storm i've done the challenge modes uh to you just get the badge completion right and i've done the storm titan and i've done medulla hall of heroes has been broken for the longest i've complained about it that it's still not fixed i don't think it's gonna fix anytime soon <laughs> but if i believe if i go to imperia and i believe i go i think they added it like right here titan toppler and mega modulist these are challenge mode badges and when you get these you get a gold key but they're not doing that this time around and i don't know what they're doing instead like after maybe like a certain amount of kills on challenge mode you get a gold key but they aren't doing that either um but still back to the topic with, with the resist change i think it definitely should be reevaluated. um maybe give it a week you know do see how people are acting with this whole resist change i would like to see people do challenge mode just as much as the devs um of course i'm going to be doing challenge mode i'm going to be trying to think of strats for all these fights but just at the moment i think my main concern is going to be that uh mr montgomery fight because pre-patch it was fine and then after they finished the fight and everything like that it became just a mess <laughs> um same thing as freddy freddy you have to do it like such a specific way and you have to dual school i don't see you doing that fight without dual schooling at all unless like i don't know <laughs> but if a, a school, certain school can't survive that fight they need to reevaluate either the fight or the stats and this also affects boss rematches as much as players don't think about it these resist changes are going to all the leagues so that includes like rematches as well which usually you get scaled down to 50. so my resist in these low of 50 rematches 
are going to be shredded. I don't know what to what degree, <laughs> but they are definitely going to be shredded. Like if we look and we pull up the boss rematches that I posted in the Discord. Now, these are the level 50 stats. When it comes to resist, um, I believe where is it right here? It's like 29, 31, 32. I don't even know if this is affecting this because they're going to be scaling these down too. And I don't know to what percentage. Uh, and this indirectly affects these if that's the case and i don't want to be struggling in these rematches this also affects um the pendragon rematch even though yes it's not in the game yet currently but it you know you were able to do it on test realm and i was able to do it as well um and which will eventually come out with our two spell elements next year now that fight if it becomes the resist or just doo doo you will not survive that fight and you're we're forced to play certain ways that's why we're doing wards on our pets like i wouldn't be making that pet i showed you earlier which is just all resist <laughs> uh, all resist and just bulwark but that's because how else are you supposed to survive certain fights that require you to play a certain way uh, if i'm doing it the intended way and i'm doing everything i should be and even if with the ward i still don't survive the fight it's not because I'm not doing something wrong. I mean, at times you can argue that, but it's just the fight is just unbearable and players will not do challenge mode for that reason. And I can see it just on test realm. I know some devs were saying that people are doing challenge mode, but judging by what my reaction from just looking into the community and stuff like that, I've only seen like a hand, like a handful of people try challenge mode on test realm. And I was luckily testing it and there were some issues, thankfully. And, you know, imagine if those issues made it into live realm. That's another thing. And players would be even more upset not to try challenge mode. And um, there's that. So I'm praying that, you know, with these changes, they got to be careful because a lot of this stuff affects raids. It affects rematches. It affects challenge mode. It affects any of these like advanced combat modes uh, indirectly. And as like as much as I have to say it, they i don't like these changes when it comes to the resist um and you know you guys can be honest with me too in the comments below and let me know what your thoughts are do you like these resist changes i know pvp players have their own thoughts don't get me wrong i know they had their own issues and their own complaints about players having ward against a certain school and having to play a certain way or even having pins and have a shield pin against a certain school and having to play a certain way um but just having all that be an iteration they should just adjust it for pvp and not advanced combat um and i know they're they could say well advanced combat and pvp are almost the same thing but they shouldn't be the same thing pvp and advanced combat should have their own separate stack caps their own separate bands their own separate things because i hate having to get tc banned on certain spells because of the fact that it's you know they don't want it in pvp and now it's affecting advanced combat but then they can just say that hey this is intentional this is what we wanted we wanted it to be be, be banned for advanced combat but certain spells don't make sense for it to be banned in advanced combat at all <laughs> so that's why i'm like i'm getting into this iffy situation where like as much as i love advanced combat i, I like doing my raids i like doing my boss rematches i like doing my um like you know my challenge mode but there should be like a, a a fine line between the PvP scene and the advanced combat scene um, to be able to separate us 100%. Um, and the resist caps are a definite thing as well. Because based upon what we experienced with this raid, with the Azteca raid, we had issues with these bosses because of their resist and because of all these changes. Then they changed the fight and we were able to like survive and be able to do things in the raid but now are we're getting back into the situation where yes our resistor is going to be tanked are we going to be living these fights and now this indirectly affects both raids this affects the dragon spy raid this affects the azteca raid this affects everything that's advanced combat um pve players that just quest whatever they're not doing all this stuff you guys don't have to worry it's not like they're gonna make it so you can't go immune in pve you can legit still go immune you can still have the 100 percent uh, immunity build that i made like a long time ago um that still exists you can still do that but uh in advanced combat you are going to be capped out to those percentages that we were talking about which is i believe uh 60 to fire 80 percent on ice 55 on storm 72% on myth, 71 on life, 
75 on death and 73 on balance so let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions down below um how do you guys feel about this change i know some players are gonna have some iffy opinions i know pvp has its own opinions pve is gonna have its own opinions these communities are always gonna clash within each other and it's bound to happen so there's that but hope you guys enjoyed me talking about it and give you guys my opinions overall they should really look into it or even just look into some of these fights definitely if you guys are going to be sticking with these percentages and like you are like like you're forced to do this and you're like really focused on doing this please 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 look into these challenge mode fights a little bit more thoroughly look into these raids look into these rematches thoroughly before you make this decision because indirectly you are going to make some of these fights unbearable or to the point where players do not want to do these fights and then you're going to be concerned that you guys introduce these modes and players are not going to be doing them of course i will be doing them because i actually want to be able to upload content on these i want to be able to do these i want to be able to think of a strat for these so there's that but i don't want it to be unbearable to the point where even just players that want to get into challenge mode just get really straight away from it and not wanting to do it anymore because of these changes and being limited on doing certain things that's another thing if you want to introduce challenge mode and you want casuals to slowly try to try these challenge modes make it in a way that like it's doable not to the point where it's impossible you know so there's that there has to be like a reason i know the drops are there you guys are doing the percentages where it's like the, the challenge mode will have increased percentage drops but give me something more there has to be a little bit more for a casual player to be like hey let me go do this fight and there has to be a reason for me to do it because why not just do scald and Cindy on the regular variant when that exists um or just even cheesing it any other way why are you telling me to do this challenge mode that's what players want to see so that is it hope you guys enjoyed not me doing the outro again um but yeah boss rematches advanced combat uh challenge mode all that type of stuff raids this affects everything you know and pvp but i didn't want to talk about pvp too much in this video because other people have already talked about it i don't see a reason for me to talk about it it's more when it comes to challenge mode and defense combat so there's that but yeah let me know your thoughts and comments below down below and um let me know so hope you guys enjoyed and i'll talk to you guys in the next one peace out guys